Okay, in this video I share three quick tricks which help me to draw horses from the heart. I'm going to show you three examples to show how I do it and how I use these. And in part two we're going to draw together, slowly. I always imagine the body and legs of the horse to be surrounded by a box. This is very helpful because I always know where the hoofs hit the ground. Inside that box you can imagine the body of the horse as a cylinder. You only need to add some sticks for the legs and neck and head. One step further is imagining a simplified skeleton. Let's call that the stick skeleton. This is what I use when I draw horses. It allows for the curves of a horse's body better than the cylinder. And that stick skeleton I can move around in any position that I like. When I put that stick skeleton in a box, I can also move it from any viewpoint that I like. Example number one, a trotting Arabian horse. On the inside of this horse is the stick skeleton. I always draw the legs whole, also the parts where you can't see them, because then they come out behind the other legs or the belly at the correct spot and natural movement. Now, if you imagine the body as a cylinder, it's somewhat easier to get a direction, especially as this horse is about three quarters from the back. And then you add the legs and the head and the neck the same as for the stick skeleton. Does this make sense? I would really appreciate a like. It really helps my channel and it makes me very happy. And now for example number two, a draft horse. Let's start off with the stick skeleton again. I use just an oval for the pelvis, like really simplify that because that's a very complicated bone structure. We add the box and you can see how solidly this horse is standing on the ground. If you use the cylinder, this horse obviously has a pretty large cylinder because this is a massive draft horse. And here you can see how it all comes together. For our last horse, we have a horse where we are on a very high vantage point and we're looking down a little bit on the horse. This is where the box is really, really handy because if we start with a box where we look on top of the box, we can fit the horse right in there, as you can see here. So let's start with the head because the head is in front of the shoulders and the back. Rib cage, shoulder blades, pelvis and the legs. This is the stick skeleton. Now, if we simplify this a little bit with the cylinder, you still want to remind yourself that there is a line going on top of the cylinder where the vertebrae of the backbone go. So you can choose what works best for you. You can start with the box or you can add the box later on just to check if your horse is standing correctly. You can use the cylinder method if you're not that confident yet about the skeletal properties of a horse. And if you are, you can use the stick skeleton. And we're going to use all of of these as we go on to part two where we're going to draw a horse together. 